Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing one of the brand new uh, blasters in the Nerf Rebella line. And today we're, this is, we're going to be unboxing the Nerf Rebella Guardian Crossbow. Now this is a really exciting line. If you guys haven't heard about it already, it's been released um, by Hasbro a few several months ago at one of their main toy events. I believe it was the London Toy Fair or something like that. And basically the Nerf Rebella line is the new line for girls. It's going to be basically all girl blasters. But I am personally pretty excited about it. They've got some really cool design ideas and they're kind of incorporating that into a few of the different ones. But what we've got here is the brand new Guardian Crossbow. I'm going to go over the packaging first thing and then we'll open it up and show you guys what comes inside and show you the blaster itself. Uh, the packaging itself, again, purplish color girl scheme, uh, brand new designs as far as that goes. Uh, up here it says six darts. Uh, let me see if I can read this. Six darts, rapid blasting. Um, it shows up to 75 feet, which is the elite ranges. Um, let's see, we've got the advertisement down here for the nerfrabella.com uh, link. Uh, this comes with six collector darts, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the deal is with that. I do apologize if this wind noise is getting uh, annoying or not. I can't change the wind. Um, but back to the box, that's pretty much what all is on the front. I'll go ahead and show the back, uh, since this is pretty new. Uh, as well. Uh, pretty much again the same standard design uh, displaying a couple of the features like uh, the flexing bow arms, uh, the rotating, uh, auto rotating, excuse me, uh, six dart launcher in the front portion here. Um, we've got some advertisements along the side instead of the bottom uh, for the vision gear, dart refills, um, dart, or what is it, they're calling this the dart diva, which is basically just the ammo pouch, um, and then the new mission app. Uh, center for the Rebella line uh, is pink instead of blue like we've seen for the Elite uh, line. Again, 75 feet shows you how to load uh, and prime and everything and how that all works and that's pretty much it. On the bottom here, if you guys are interested in this info, if it's not blurry, uh, if you guys are interested in this and it does come out blurry, just let me know in the comment box below and I'll um, add it to the description. Another advertisement for the NerfRebella.com uh, website. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing really on the sides. Uh, to speak of, if you guys can see that there. Um, it looks like they do have pretty much just those blasters. As you can see, there is the um, similar to the Zombie Strike one there on their side. That's pretty much it for the box. Uh, otherwise, it's just showcasing the six uh, special edition darts or collectible darts. So we're going to go ahead and open it up here. And I'm going to open it from uh, this side here. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to. And let's see what exactly what we have inside the box. So, pull it out, and again, I managed to do it upside down. Okay, so that's what's inside the box. We'll go ahead and set the uh, outer box to the side. Inside, we have uh, pretty much just the blaster itself, the bow arm here, and the six uh, darts or collectors of darts or whatever they are here. We'll go ahead and cut these out. I'm not going to be shooting these uh, just because I don't really feel like it. Um, Trust me, I, I'm not really that into collecting them, but I do have a sister who might be, so we'll go ahead and take these out and showcase those really fast uh, while we're at it. So all kinds of different color foam, uh, black, white, green, purple, and pink. Um, seems to be standard Elite Dart. These are A-series darts. I believe all of them are considered A-series darts. Uh, they seem to be pretty much standard Elite. Pretty good foam on those. Uh, so that's that, and I'm not really going to any attention to that the rest of that we'll go ahead and throw those back in the box uh, next up I guess we'll go ahead and take out the blaster and the bow arm here and I'm not sure how this is supposed to come out so we'll just cut it out okay underneath the blaster itself we have the uh, manual which is very very small so see it's just a little pamphlet here showing you again how to load and attach the bow arm there and then load the blaster and fire uh, pretty much simple information it's actually on the back as well so let's see if we can go ahead and cut the bow arm out of its box here. There we go, maybe. Okay. And go ahead and remove this. And we'll go ahead and set everything else to the side for now because we don't really need that stuff. I've got some elite darts we'll be shooting uh, with it here in a second. So go ahead and set that to the side as well as our knife. So here is the blaster. Um, it's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting, to be honest. I was expecting a little bit bigger. It appears this just clips on, and by the clip system on it, it doesn't look like it's going to come off very easily. So we'll go ahead and install it because I just don't want to cut it off. So I think it just snaps in. Yeah, it just snaps into place there. 
and yeah it's going to take a little bit of work to get that off i think you can maybe use a screwdriver in the two slots there other than that there is the blaster itself so um like i said this seems pretty small actually we'll go ahead and compare it here to a strong arm which is pretty much what this blaster is um there's a strong arm from the tip of it down um and that pretty much comes clear back here it's basically just a strong arm with a stock and the front barrel portion moved off. So that is the blaster. We'll go ahead and load it up here with six Elite darts, uh, which just load straight into the front. As I move this blaster off to the side. So six darts just load in the front. Um, I have to say, I like the smooth paint scheme idea. Uh, this is going to be very easy for you guys that paint your blasters. If you don't really like the pink, you can paint it. Um, I'm sure and it actually appears it's going to work pretty good uh, as far as painting goes um, It's all smooth and very uh, well built everything is well made. It's very solid The stock is extremely solid, but it's pretty much built into the blaster itself We do have um, a couple of I guess you could say sling mounts here one in the bottom of the handle one in the back of the stock as my darts go blowing everywhere and then uh, up here on the front, we have the priming handle. So we'll go ahead and prime it. Oh, the other thing I did want to mention is there is one tactical rail up here. This is not a nerf tactical rail as far as um, the in-strike series. This is, I think, the same width, but it does not appear, it does not have the grooves in it like the in-strike series. So this is pretty much going to, I think, be specifically made for the app. So we'll go ahead and prime it here. Very short prime on this. Uh, it's actually just, I mean, really short. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire it here on screen hopefully and show, see if we can show this. Okay, so it appears to have a pretty good punch. Again, as I said, prime is very short. Um, it does rotate on fire, and that one didn't want to fire. So we're gonna try that again. Okay, and then rapid fire should work pretty much the same as slam fire. I believe you just hold down the trigger and prime it. Okay, and we got one more. There we go. So that is the firing. Um, I don't have any darts here real fast. Go ahead and pick them up and try that again. I want to show this pump stroke on here because it is very, very, very um, short. So whenever you prime it, it's just right there. It's very short um, and it does rotate after you pull the trigger and is ready to fire again. Again, very simple and smooth to use. Um, it's very, honestly, it's very small. <laughs> Uh, this is not going to be something that most guys are going to want to run around with, honestly. It, I don't know how to explain this. If you can see that, it's the length of my arm from the tip of my fingers to my elbow. So it does not shoulder very easy. It's very tiny. Um, the bow strings here don't do anything. But other than that, it is pretty cool. I have to admit, it's got a very um, smooth... Uh, pull, trigger pull to it and everything as far as that goes and it just seems to be very well built now honestly um, I have to say I'm Again cannot stress how small this blaster is compared to what I was thinking However, I think it's got some great potential especially if you like modifying or not modifying excuse me uh, painting it and stuff If you're not big into the purple as far as for girls, this is going to be perfect um, It's definitely going to hit that market that you know, might, might get a few more of the younger girls as well as some of the older ones into the uh, sport, I guess you could say. It's just really a different kind of style. One cool thing is the bow arms actually do flex. Um, again, that's not really needed, but it is pretty cool. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I think that covers everything, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, this has been the unboxing of the Nerf Rebella Guardian Crossbow. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below or check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash nerf to me too and we can get those answers for you. Uh, ch definitely go check out uh, some of my other videos. I'll be getting more videos up on the Rebella line as well as all the other new lines including the Zombie Strike and a few other blasters in the In Strike series as well as the Mega series. So definitely go like uh, the Facebook page and subscribe because you'll definitely want to see those. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.